down by the river was inspired, if I can use such a painful word for such a, was by a, a, something that had happened. It was called the X case. Uh, what happened was a, a young girl in Dublin, a child, became pregnant by her father's friend. They were fairly well to do, they were golfing and so on. She told her parents she was pregnant and unlike many an Irish family, they said, well, we'll bring you to England to have an abortion. This happened. They go to England to the Marish Jopes Clinic to have, for the girl to have the abortion. The Attorney General was appraised of this because Dublin's a small city, Ireland's a small country, word gets around, and they were recalled home because she was underage. They came home. They came home. They were extremely obedient, you know, good people. And then it became known in the papers and everything, and they, the, the drama, and I was there for it, the whole country was divided between those who said, because it was going to court, was going to be brought to court to know whether she should be allowed out again. And I don't know whether it's Supreme Court, I don't know the names of the courts, but it was going to court. The country was so riven by this between those who said she should be let go back to England and those who said she should not be let go back to England. I saw them marching outside the House of Parliament, Leinster House, the anger in both sides, but more strenuously in the side who said, the pro-life, who said she cannot go out, she cannot. And what I thought when I watched this very heated shouting and uh, accusation and counter-accusation, I thought nobody's thinking of the girl. Nobody's thinking of this girl and her situation. And so that down by the river was stimulated by that. So when you say what kind of country was Ireland like, Ireland was like that along with being like several other things. The jollity, the this, the that, the humor, the tolerance, the non-tolerance. So I made my book, uh, I'm a great lover of William Faulkner, who isn't either. And I made my book uh, not for sensational reasons, but because it was also credible. A story of incest, where, the, where a young girl is made pregnant by her own father in the country. And everything, as she says in the narration, the young girl writes a letter to, she, she runs away and uh, she goes to Galway where there's a busker and he befriends her in a very lovely way not in a harmful or threatening way. And she writes him a little letter and because she can't tell him the truth of what's happening. And she says, things in the country can get very murky. So the book brought a lot of uh, anger, different anger to the country girls. The country girls, there was more shock because everything was more backward then. But with what what was said about Down by the River and which incensed me was that I didn't know Ireland. Well, A, I do know Ireland, and B, this was based on an actual case. But all countries, perhaps, but I know Ireland more than I know America, like to stamp out or repress things that they don't want heard or said. So they didn't want this book written. But I wanted to write it and I'm glad I wrote it.